lot of money on this engagement ring. It's your fault! I can't have your money. What's happening with me? Why can't I move? Doctor, I'm glad you came. How's my growth? Unfortunately, we haven't seen advances. Mr. Swani received a traumatic brain injury caused by the impact and it caused her to fall in a coma. We're doing everything we can. I'm very sorry. But I can tell you that people in a coma need to hear a familiar voice. They can't move, but they can hear. What? They can hear? How long will she stay like this? We're doing everything we can, sir. But a person can be in a coma for days, weeks, months. Let's hope she reacts to the treatment. No, 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 no. Doctor, I can't take care of her. I can't be here. I have very important things to do. I have a life. Sir, I'm gonna ask you to calm down. If you want, we can assign a nurse to take care of her. All right, bring me that nurse. Been a long time here and I'm very tired. Fine, sir. If there's any change in your wife's health, I'll let you know as soon as possible. Excuse me. I hope you wake up soon. Because I can't stand this situation for much longer. I need you! You're useless to me like this. Just like the doctor said. You must be my girlfriend's nurse. That's right. Nice to meet you, sir. I'm Aide Sandoval, and I'll be taking care of your girlfriend. Don't call me, sir. My name is Gustavo. It's so nice to have somebody like you taking care of my girlfriend. Well, that's my job, to serve. So be it. Aide, I'll leave now. Have a beautiful day. Just like you. Excuse me. Have a nice day. Place my eyes so I can see this angel. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. Mm. Oh, I miss you. It's getting harder to look after this vegetable. We talked about this. You have to look after that idiot. She's her little gold mine. Or did you forget how I convinced you to sleep with me? Yes, I know. You don't have to remind me that. I am just telling you that I'm tired of looking after her. You know what? Each day is worse because she's things like me. <laughs> so gross. Fine, relax. Soon we'll be enjoying at the beach with a glass of champagne. <sighs> In the meantime, I need to marry her. And that way, I'll inherit all the fortune her parents left her. Well, I hope it doesn't last long. Because I don't know if I can stand this for much. You know what I can't stand? How much I want to be with you. <laughs> Gustavo, Gustavo, not here. What if the doctor comes and sees us? No one will see us. Don't worry. You're so gross. You smell horrible. Oh, you don't know how badly I want to spend your money. It's the least I deserve. Who are you? <laughs> Good afternoon, I am Miss Jesuani's nurse. And do you like your job? Because I can see you're struggling to treat your patients correctly. I don't know what you mean. Cindy, what are you doing here? I thought you were in Colombia. Well, yes, but when I found out Jesuani was at the hospital, I came immediately. Why didn't you tell me, Gustavo? What did I have to know through social media? Cindy, I have a lot of things in my mind right now. It's not time for complaints. Doctor, I'm glad you're here. Do you have any news about my girlfriend's health? Unfortunately, no. The treatment we're giving her is not working. And if this continues this next week, you'll, you'll have the last word to take her life support. No, Doctor, we would never. There must be another way, please. Doctor, I need her to wake up. Joswani... Joswani is the love of my life. Sir, as I told you, you'll have the last word. <sighs> Honestly, we have done everything we could, but the treatment doesn't seem to work. I'm really sorry. 
I won't let you extubate her. She deserves to live. Excuse me. Yes, Doctor. This can be just for me. For your damn fault, I won't be rich. Look, she's crying. Help me! I'll go get the doctor. Hey, no! Take it easy. It's normal. You heard the doctor. She'll never wake up. God damn it. I had a little hope. Then what's the point? She can hear us. I know, honey boo. I know. But you should give up already. Now you have me. No. Extubate her. No, no, no. The first thing I need to do is getting rid of Cindy, her friend. She wants to look for another alternative, and I won't allow her. What she doesn't know is that I already signed that paper. Ooh, I love when you get a leave. Hey. You don't think she'll wake up? I said no! I've told you a million times. Yeah, maybe she can hear. But she won't get up. Oh, just let me. I feel pity for you. Oh God, what's happening to me? Gustavo? You're such a bad... Look at this picture. Do you remember that day? It's the day you invited me to the Posada, and they named you as the best interpreter. You don't know how proud I felt of you. I need you to be here with me, please, Joswani. Wake up. I need you. Please don't scream. Nobody can know I woke up. But you don't know how much I waited for this moment. But but why nobody can know that you're awake? Because Gustavo is a bag. He only wants me for my money. And he's cheating on me with my nurse. I woke up two days ago. And I couldn't talk or, or move. I could only see them screwing right here. On my bed. He's a bastard. I always felt something up with him. But what are we gonna do to Sonny if he's the only one with the power to extubate you or not? I have a plan. And you will help me. Of course, Bestie. You know you can always count on me. And even more if it's to give a lesson to that idiot Gustavo. Look, sit down. You will do this. You will give me your phone. I want Gustavo to extubate you today. You're just a damn burden for our lives. Gustavo only wanted you for your money. And you couldn't even give him that. Oh, 
No, I know. Your money. <laughs> What's the hottest nerves around here doing? Mmm, very good. Here, to chatting with your girlfriend. <laughs> I talked to the doctor. And? That likes to bait her. I'm not planning on wasting more time with her. This thing gave her a lot of months of my life. I can see that. I don't know how you could be with her for so long. What is that? Sign these papers to continue with the procedure. Sure. <sighs> you don't know how much this hurts me. Having to say goodbye to, to my girlfriend. I then please take those documents. Yes, sir. <sighs> Here you go. Doctor, um, I wanted to ask you a final favor. If Nurse Aide Wash my girlfriend before her passing. All right, sir. I'll be back in a moment to start with the procedure. You don't know how much it hurts me seeing her go like this. I'm really sorry. Thank you. Oh, you're so good at pretending you care about this potato sack. You should be very happy because you'll finally be with your parents. What's the use of all that money if they're now underground? I wasted a lot of time with you. You're a bastard, Gustav. I won't allow you to keep hurting my friend. You mind your business, Cindy. What are you doing here? Let me go. Your friend is my responsibility, and guess what? I already signed those papers. So get out or I'll kick you out! Well, I'm not moving from here. And you better regret this, you still have time. <laughs> well, guess what? You came too late because she will die. So leave! Let go of me! Leave now or you'll regret this. Are you dead for what? Leave now! What happened, Gustavo? Aren't you happy I'm finally awake? Since when is she awake? That doesn't matter. What matters is that Joswani finally saw the kind of crush you really are. I think I'll go now. No, no, no. You won't go anywhere until the authority comes to get you. I can't believe how far you took this. I believed in you. I was blinded by the loneliness that invited me since my parents died and since they left the country. I believed all of your lies. But that is over. No, 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 baby. You're the love of my life, just... Joswani, she's the one that seduced me. She took advantage of my sadness. Gustavo, please, just stop saying nonsense. I always knew you were with Joswani just for her money. You're a damn cheater. Shut up! And you don't listen to her, please. My love, I love you. Look, look how my heart beats. Let go of me, idiot. And I will make sure that you both spend the rest of your days in prison for attempting against my life and for negligence. Is she alive? That's right, Doc. Please cancel all the procedure. This you wanted. Wanted to kill my friend. I knew it. I never felt good about him. And you are there. I'm ashamed you work at this hospital. But you know what? I'll ask them to take away your license. Doctor, please. Please call the authorities. So they can take this too and they'll rot in jail. Don't worry. Everything is set now. All exits are closed. 
We'll see that. Hey! You'll end up alone, Josoni. Alone, you heard me? You'll never be alone. You have me, okay? <laughs> Darling, I'm so glad you're getting married. I can't believe it. I I know, me neither. I can't believe I found that man. That's good. He values and respects me. After the hell I live with Gustavo. Oh, stop. Come on, let's not talk about that man. Now he's in jail paying for all the things he did. And not for nothing, you found Santiago. I introduced him to you. <laughs> oh, girl. Thank you so much for being with me. You don't know how much I value our friendship. You're always some my best and my worst. I love you so much. Oh, me too. You don't know how happy I am for this new life that awaits me. Always on the best and the worst. Until we're all the wrinkled. Until we are all the wrinkled. <laughs> Come on. <laughs>